What's happening, sports fans? We continue our interview of yeah, yeah. What's up? What's good? That's what's yeah. what's good, sports fans. Uh, down there in the corner, we'll bring him up now, full screen. It's Jordan Thompson. He's from Helix. He is one of the Highlanders. He is gonna G E A U X to L S U next yes, year. Sir. Uh, so a national champion school, uh, getting yeah. a national champion contender, baseball player. Uh, thanks for being on with us, man. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. Let's start with that decision. Uh, it was pretty early on for you. If I remember you, you've been committed to LSU for a while. So why the Tigers? Um, well, it was the end of my freshman year and we were playing summer baseball, traveling and stuff. And I was getting a lot of attention from a lot of different schools. Um, a lot West Coast, like Arizona, San Diego State, USC, schools like that. But then we took a trip out to Georgia, and um, LSU saw me for a couple of games, and they contacted me. And from there, it was like, well, LSU just was running up in the College World Series. So it's like, like, I don't know, it was probably the best baseball school that I could have gone to. And, well, they have the resume. So For a lot of guys and girls, the process of – doing all of high school for that application season and then writing the essay, everything's very, very stressful. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming you haven't even felt an ounce of that stress the whole, like yeah. you've just been easy skating being like, man, I kind of low key already know where I'm going. We got this all figured out. Um, have you enjoyed uh, not having to go through the process you've seen everyone else having oh, yeah, to go definitely. through? There's a bunch of kids who are like, oh, I hope I get into this school. I hope I get into this school. It's like, oh, dude, I feel bad because it's like, I didn't really have to do as much as they do to get into that school. So it, it kind of sucks on that side. But And you're like, kinda, I've kind of known it since sophomore yeah. year. A little awkward. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, no, I'm busy tonight writing my college essays yeah. to make you guys feel better that you have to do them also. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you know, you talk about this being something that was outside of high school baseball necessarily. You were on these travel tournaments when you were getting these. Everybody has a different route. Everyone has a different situation. All players are different. But at least for you getting to this process, you're getting through this process and to this point, any advice you'd give to younger kids, parents of younger kids, you know, people just kind of going along this road about how they can help themselves out in terms of recruiting? Um, Just getting yourself out there. And I think one thing is to always play hard because you never know who's watching. Like you could just be playing in a local tournament and there could be someone there that's there to see someone, not necessarily you. But if you're having a good game, hustling, doing whatever, they could see you and you catch their eye. So did you know that LSU was watching at that tournament? Um, they weren't there for me, but I saw them walking around the complex because there was a bunch of different schools. Like, well, so, so then that's perfectly to your point. They weren't there for you. Yeah, they left with you on their radar. Yeah, exactly. Was there a moment where it became like, oh, this is for sure the school I want? Or was it just kind of a culmination of different things? Was there just a, was there one final moment where you're like, the emotions all came real? This feels real? Um, well, I think it was once I went on my unofficial visit. So after we had started talking, I was still talking to a bunch of other schools. And then I went on my visit and I was like, okay, this is where I need to be. Like going around the baseball facility, the clubhouse and everything, it just felt like home. So let's talk about the South a little bit. We had a uh, softball player, Jess Acosta from Central Union High School, who's going to go down and play at Ole Miss next uh-huh. year. So she's heading that direction. I asked her, you know, what are some Southern things that you've you've tried out now, now that, now that you've, you've been uh-huh. down there a couple of times? So for you, have you done the crawfish? Have you done yeah. grits? Like what are some alligator? What crawfish are some Southern, what are some Southern yeah. things that you either do or don't like so far? The only things I've really done was eating the crawfish and, and the alligator. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's really it so far, I guess. What do you like? But do you like different. either of those? Are you a crawfish? Yeah, they tasted good. It wasn't bad. Crawfish, I feel like, though, there's a lot of work involved in, in making it happen. And that's why I see people have to have be these big crawfish bakes. Did yeah, you get yeah. one of those full experiences with just nah, a whole I'm not pot? A full bag. No, nah, not like that. But, but yeah. Because it- the alligator tastes like chicken, though, so it's not even bad. And it's kind of badass to eat. You're like, yeah, man, had alligator this morning. Uh, you're like, okay. Ooh. Uh, so it, it would, 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 I mean, are we going to see you like fuse these together and be like alligator burritos? Would you go that way? No, just don't no. try mi- mixing Mexican and Southern cuisine. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, De- <laughs> deal. Um, I think I, I got a couple baseline, just baseball questions. If you don't mind me, I'm going to shoot them at you real quick. Just give yep. me the, just give me the honest reaction. Top three flavors of seeds. Uh, chili lime, barbecue, and then dill pickle. Weirdest superstition that you have seen from a teammate or coach? Oh, God. Um, 
I don't know. I really don't. I can't think of one. Ooh, there's if you do think of one, uh, uh, let us know. It doesn't have to be like a, a crazy, crazy weird one, but a lot baseball players in general, a little more superstitious, a little more weird than everybody else. Um, favorite uniform that you guys have at Helix? Uh, we got all green uniforms this year, like green pants and green jerseys, but we only got to wear them once. No. So yeah. new tops, new bottoms, new everything. Yeah. Bro, do you have Pretty a complex. do you have a photo of you guys wearing them that we can post with this uh, interview? Yeah, I think I do. I'll be able to send it to you. Do you have the green top available for us to see somewhere close right by? Yeah, do, are you able to uh, leave the uh, camera here and just go grab it if you can? Ooh, yeah, those are nice. So the the pants are the same color? Yeah, the same color. Ooh, what kind of socks you rock with that? Um uh well, they're long pants, so. Oh, so you're a pants down guy? That's going to be my next yeah. question. Is pants up or high socks or low socks? Uh, with with our away jerseys, that's all, all green. I'll wear them pants down. But then our pinstripe uniforms, I have them, uh, like, tapered at the ankles so you can see the, the stirrups underneath. What would be your walk-up song? Um, Jeez. Uh, I was using Rebels Kick It by, um, by Young Boy, but I wanted to use Out West. I'd probably use Out West. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, you'll get to that. That'd be a, that'd be a fitting one when you get to college too, because uh, yeah. you're the you're gonna be the the, the Cali yeah. kid and what and whatnot. Uh, let's see. Going down the line. Hmm. You, I, you're uh, you got some pretty solid answers here. So I, I gathering because you said you like the pinstripes. You are team pinstripes. You would wear them versus not wear them. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, they 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 definitely fall into a certain category. Um, you have hit a home run or two. In your life, you you enjoy uh, home runs. Favorite bat flip or and or home run celebration that you have seen from someone you've played with, from anyone at the pro levels. Who 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 celebrates correctly? Oh God, I don't know. Yasiel Puig is pretty. Uh, I don't even know though. Yasiel Puig does it like every at bat. It doesn't matter if it's a home <laughs> run or anything. Yes. Um, Cody Bellinger's had a couple good ones, like walk off home run bat flips. I don't know. Who else? Well, I, I ask because personally, I fall into the category of I like fun baseball. I really, I much prefer the game where you can be Tim Anderson from the White Sox flipping oh, bats yeah, and throw. Like I like that kind of baseball significantly better than the like the hyper sanitized like let's be professional and respect the sport. Like yeah. uh, so, you know, so I look at a lot of those guys like. Jose Batista to me is the golden standard of just stand yeah. there and let it fly and then That's flip it. Um, but I'm also I've never hit one, so you know what do I really honestly in the in the depths of my mind know? Yeah. Kind of a somber transition, a little bit of a more serious note. You're the only high school senior class that has had a global pandemic shut down your season. Yeah. What has living through that been like? What have been your emotions? What's been on your mind the last couple of weeks? Um, it didn't really hit me that hard until I think it was a week or two ago when we found out like everything was officially done. It just sucks because I got hurt in the beginning of the season. I played two games of my senior year, and um, I don't know. It was it was pretty tough, but I'm getting through it. There's bigger things going on, so I mean, it's not the end of the world, I guess. So, what are you doing to fill your downtime then? Uh, I've been working out a lot, hitting in my garage, stuff like that, playing video games. Yeah, okay, the the working out every man. So many high school kids are so good at giving the the yes, coach. I'm still working out. I'm still, I get it that you're doing that, but yes, because yeah. you're playing video games. What kind of video games? Uh, I've been playing Call of Duty, the new Call of Duty. Are you a it. are you a little give me all the smoke like let's share the gamer tag type of guy, or are you more recreational play for fun? I don't know. I I usually play by myself because my friends don't have the game. Like we'll play um, Black Ops, we'll play um, Zombies. Like that's what we'll play. But when they're not playing that, I'll play Call of Duty by myself. Fair enough. If you are you willing to share the gamer tag? Ah, uh, no, no. Okay, okay. No, hey, look, it's I, we're we're all we're all we're all in this together. Um, mm -hmm. Hashtag don't give me your gamer tag. Um, yeah. So far, it seems to be the football players that want all the smoke. They they yeah. like, they just feed off of competition a little bit differently <laughs> than everybody else. Um, hitting wise, though, I am waiting for the first person who's like, I'm a little over hitting on the tee. I know it's good for us, and I know we're supposed to be doing this all the time, but. Yeah. People are starting to go a little bit like, eh, I could I could go without that for now. I want some real yeah, baseball back. It's kind of tough. I'm not a big T guy. Like before games and stuff like that, before practice, BP when we hit, I I usually don't hit off the T. So 
but this is the only time like I'm able to hit is off a tee, so I've gotten used to it, I guess. But I usually don't like to hit off of it. Have you seen any of the posts coming from South Korea about their baseball with no fans? Mm-mm. Okay. Um, what's that? They're playing? Yes. Um, oh man, I was going to say I'll DM it to you right now. Here, hold on. Um, you can, I apologize to everybody that is uh, watching this and going to see a little interruption here for a second, but I am going to send you a link um, on Insta. I just DM'd you a link to Twitter. I want you to just, you can, you can leave our interview for a second. Go click on this and see, just look at the visual so we can, I can ask you a question about it. Okay. What the? Okay, so Taiwan, those are like cardboard cutouts of fans Uh in the stands. Um, Folks, I'll I'll post it up um, on our on our interview so you can see what we're talking about. Creepy, or you kind of like it? No, that's kind of creepy. I don't know why they would do that. So you would rather play in an empty stadium, no fans, than I a mean, sta- they are empty though. Like, what's the difference? I, I don't I don't know why they would do this. So you would rather play in an empty? Well, I was gonna say you'd rather play in an empty stadium with no fans than a full stadium of cardboard cutout. Cardboard cutouts, yeah. Um, I I I just I laugh at the visual of foul balls getting hit into the stands and just taking cardboard cutout heads off and just you you end a game with like and in section 248 most of them are dead yeah uh yeah it's weird that that we're all kind of we're all trying to figure out like the little loopholes all right let's get sports back this way that way or the other um but man thankfully uh college baseball is long enough off that uh that it'll hopefully come all the way back around and, and you'll uh you'll be able to to have that season. I always like to ask Helix athletes when we have them on, what's it like just being a part of that culture at, at Helix? Because you guys have to be considered one of the more athletically uh, yeah. high caliber, competitive, whatever the verb is that you want to throw in there. Uh, across the board, all of your sports teams are very high-level competition. Mm-hmm. So just take us inside that uh, that atmosphere, if you will, a little bit of what it's like to be I think a- it's- because in like every season football basketball baseball soccer volleyball all that like everyone knows that that sports team's competing for a cif championship so everyone really knows i don't know so it's pretty cool i guess i certainly think it's an experience that you know it you mentioned it there you know water polo volleyball like though it, yeah. it's something that i think a lot of people go football basketball baseball everything else they just don't realize yeah. that yeah it's it it's a competitive thing like it's a lifestyle choice at helix to be a competitive yeah, sure. and, and to hold yourself to your highest uh, standards. Yeah. If you had your teammates back in a you know, if you were back in a room with your teammates or your friends from school, what would you say? What what would be your 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 message to everybody? I don't even know. Like about what? About what? I don't. It, it's there is no set answer to that question. It, I just always like giving everybody a little opportunity to send a message out to their teammates and their friends from school. Oh well, I just say what's up. How you guys doing? Hope everyone's like doing well. And staying safe. Staying inside. Have you started to slow? I, I see one wall over there has become purple. Have you started to slowly transition everything else into purple? Has is the whole life slowly becoming LSU themed? Uh, not yet. Probably soon though. Are you planning on le- uh, hypothetically? Were you going to be leaving over the summer? Were you going to go play summer ball somewhere? Um, I mean, the plan was to play summer ball, but I don't know how that's going to happen now. So we'll probably just see see how it goes. All right, so we'll get a few more months then, hopefully, of you here in San Diego uh, yeah, yeah, before, like okay. I said, you G-E-A-U-X to LSU. And if you don't yeah. get that joke, I don't care. <laughs> uh, final question would be if, and I'm not condoning the use of tobacco or anything like that. I'm just saying it was pretty badass Joe Burrow sitting on that couch smoking that cigar. Will we have an opportunity to see a Jordan Thompson version of that video should you guys win a College World Series? Hey, we'll see. Hopefully. That would be cool. Okay, I'm going to take that as a yes. I'm yeah. going to take that as a right here, right now. He's calling a shot in the next four years. You will it will see Jordan Thompson one-upping Joe Burrow in terms of his level of coolness. Yeah, it'll happen. Deal. It'll we're happen. we're going to hold you to that. I don't know how, but we're going to hold it to you from <laughs> from the other side of the country. Jordan, thank you so much for being on with us, my man. We really appreciate it. Congratulations on your success and heading on to the next level. We appreciate that you're going to be representing San Diego so well, both on and off the field. Folks, 
ton of high school athletes out there who had their seasons cut short that need just your positive thoughts and your well wishes. Jordan is one of those. Thank you so much for being on with us, and we'll talk to you soon, sports fans.